This is a patient who comes with abdominal pain, and we got a CT scan with intravenous contrast, and we didn't give any oral contrast for this patient. And we can check the organs in the upper abdomen, all of that look within normal limits. So we're going to go focus on the bowel. We can see that there's a bunch of loops of bowel that are fluid-filled and somewhat distended, so there may be some sort of process going down in the bowel. As we go and look at uh, the large bowel, looks relatively okay. Some loops a little bit under-distended, some over-distended, some little bit of stool in there as well. And really, as you go down there, it looks like there's some sort of inflammatory change in fluid right in the pelvis there and in the right lower quadrant. If we then examine that a little bit closely, we can see here's the cecum filled with uh, stool and a little bit of gas. We can see the structure coming off the cecum, a little thick wall, going all the way down over here and all the way down over here where it is blind ending. So it's a thick wall, tubular structure, blind ending. Looks like there's a little bit of stranding adjacent to it. Let's see what it looks like on the coronal images over here. This is the cecum again. Over here is going to be the terminal ilium, so we know not to look at that. We're looking at this structure over here. That's coming from the cecum, thick wall, tubular in shape. And look at it over here in cross-section. Looks like it has a little bit of fluid in it and definitely a very thick wall and some inflammatory change. These findings are highly suspicious for acute appendicitis, and this patient comes in with pain. Some of the fluid-filled loops of bowel adjacent to it are probably represent a reactive ileus. This person went to the operating room and indeed turned out to have acute appendicitis.